Hey all, Bings here. Wanted to bring you a Vampire Survivors run. Uh, this run was recorded off stream, just for you over there at YouTube. Uh, and what I wanted to do was challenge myself to get six evolved weapons in one run. So you can kind of see some of the chaos behind me of uh, when, when it uh, actually is able to happen. Uh, but through the entire run, I kind of go over my strategies for ways that you should be thinking about the game. Uh, if you are going to go and try and get as many evolved weapons as possible, what order you should take them in, and just kind of how to circumnavigate the mid game so that you're still staying strong enough while trying to complete this goal. Uh, if you enjoy the content, uh, make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, let me know down below if you want to see anything else in Vampire Survivors you think would be cool. Um, please enjoy the content. Alright, I think we're going to try with Gennaro here. Uh, helps us not have to utilize Duplicate. Um, gives us a little bit more leniency on that. And we have to use a character that starts with a weapon that can be evolved. So, uh, I, I just love duplicating things. I feel like especially with the um, advanced weapons... Uh, it gives us a lot of advantage, and, and it's actually just more to kind of get over the hump and get early XP. So we're going to scoop around here, try and grab everything we can. Uh, so we always prioritize getting everything uh, that we need first, and then afterwards we'll focus on uh, kind of power ramping everything. So being able to get a book here is nice, trying to use this King Bible as much as we can. Uh, the whip, we, we got a little bit spooky there, getting two items that wouldn't work, but um, it, it, it really it's only in the early game that's going to happen. You're, you're going to end up getting a lot of items and either have the choice for new ones that you can't take uh, or just upgrading your, your ones that you can. So already we have four of the weapons that we're going to need. Um, it's going to help us just make, uh, make sure that we really easily know uh, what we're going to go for. Um, I did I did kind of test this. I was just playing this the other day um, Just on my back end so spellbinder is going to work with King Bible So we always take the new ones that we get that will fit into our six evolved weapons So so, you know if you are trying to go for the, for a run like this, and it's all you're looking for um, First of all, you just kind of have to get good enough at the game where you can uh, I guess win uh, <laughs> as, as kind of uh, dumbed down as that sounds but uh, it, it's all about being able to get over the early early hump of these uh, fights and, and, and farming XP early so that uh, you don't fall behind. Because the, the only time like you know, the only time you really get close to dying or have a lot of trouble in this game um, like tends to be when you're just you know you, you get killed really quickly. Um, or you're just like kind of fighting for your life and you don't really have the damage to burn through a lot of um, enemies. So we're going to take the Candlebird door because it's going to work with our axe. So already halfway halfway through with uh, the items that we'll need to collect. And I, I just, I tend to like hyper mode a, a lot better um, for a couple reasons. I, I like to move fast. So Empty Tome is going to give us an option to pick up a magic wand later. Um, so it's something that we can take, but I don't. I don't think we need to just grab an empty. T I've, I don't know. It's hard to say, right? I kind of want to get matching things first, or fill out our weapon slots because we only have a couple left. Um, so right now, I'll just grab axe, get another another one of these going, and again, just trying to farm as much XP as we can uh, early on. It's gonna help us a ton. Ooh. Also going to be looking for, I think we're going to have our first elite coming onto the screen soon. They're very slow, they're like that mummy elite, so like sometimes you kind of have to run out. So uh, this is interesting, so this is one that I actually didn't even know existed uh, when I was streaming this for the first time. Uh, is that if we get garlic and pumarola, uh, we'll get a combination as well. So we're, we're going to try garlic because we've never gotten that item of all. I don't know if that was something that got added or was different or was just something that... You know, not a lot of people knew was around at that time. You know, it's not, it's not a huge game, so, you know, it's not something that, like, gets data mined immediately. Everyone knows what's going on. Kind of brings you back to the old uh, cheat CC days of, uh, of being a gamer. So we have Empty Tome, again, which will lock us to um, our Magic Wand is the only one that we can find. But I'd rather be more flexible than that. And just uh, find any weapon that we can, and then and then find find things to fill those spaces in. Ooh, big big item pickups here. Once you get filled out weapons, I don't know how the actual system works, but it seems like you almost always get an option to upgrade one of those weapons. 
Um, so I, I've tended to like go for weapons first. So here's our first elite here. We're just trying to make sure we're getting King Bibles hits and take them out as quickly as we can. A little murder hole here. Uh, so we don't have a pentagram. We'll, we'll, we'll take Hanover Door. I just, I kind of like how it works with whip. It, um, so yeah, th there's no reason holding off, so we'll take that. That is very loud. That is obnoxiously loud, some may say. So we'll see what upgrades you end up here. A little bit more Spellbreaker. Helps with our King Bible. I don't know, I don't know what else it helps with, really. Uh, but, uh, you know, we'll, we'll be happy taking it either way. Uh, the other thing that that, that works really well with, um be our garlic because we're going to be running garlic in this run so getting any extra range on that garlic is, is going to help us like crazy so really good job farming xp so far here uh it's important when you start getting like you know around like the three or four minute mark there's supposed to be like some big waves that come through um and being able to clear them quickly and efficiently with a lot of damage from your weapons is important another thing that i noticed that i used to to do a lot is that i would avoid any and all damage early on just out of fear but like realistically early on enemies don't hit very hard it, it's it's not very often that you're going to get into a position where you're like completely screwed uh that you're like like surrounded especially if you're getting good weapons early and I, I found that I just would always end up with all these extra, I think, yeah, I think that's a killer. But that, that's good. We'll look at the XP for these guys. A nice little, nice little XP highway here. Still missing on our, our last weapon to pull, uh, but we'll, we'll start pushing the knife. Uh, the knife, the knife re is a pretty bad item until it gets like level 7 or level 8. I think 5 is where it first spikes when we can finally start like passing through enemies. Um, because it, you know, essentially like triples the damage output of almost every knife that you throw out, uh, based on like the horde version of the game. So we'll, we'll take fire one. Uh, we'll, we'll finish these out and now, now we know exactly what we're looking for. Uh, and we should have a pretty good safety setup because we're not going to be getting any more weapons or at least new weapons, uh, that we can't take as options. So we'll limit our options more to those items or just, uh, pushing the ones that we already have. Uh, so Pomerola is an important one, so is Hollow Heart, but uh, I, I want to try and get the garlic uh, as soon as I can because it's new, you know? I, I, a game like this, especially first when it comes out, it doesn't have too much content. You know, finding those those new new things that you can do is, is what really helps uh, help make the game so early. Bracer uh, and Hollow Heart we both need, so we're going to take Hollow Heart. Uh, the whip, I think, is the best weapon in the game because it gives lifesteal. I was surprised that it, uh, it doesn't really have the damage output that a lot of the other weapons do, but I think that that just core, core lifesteal component to it is by far the strongest thing that you can ask for in just about any weapon. More garlic, love to see it. Yeah, I want to get this to 8 pretty soon. Um, getting garlic uh, up pretty high early is, is quite strong as well, so duplicator, we wish we could take it, but we can't. Um, We'll, we'll, we'll start pumping the knife. What we're looking for still would be uh, spinach and our bracer. So spinach and bracer are two items that we must grab. Nice getting little bits of luck on these uh, four options too. Uh, can definitely uh, help help save you a lot. But again, you know, I, I, I do think the, the core and most important component of this game uh, it's just, just, you know, learning how to farm XP early and not, not getting below the curve. Because, like, it, if at any point, like, during a run, you don't feel very strong, you, you've kind of messed up your leveling and it's, it's hard to get back. Because once you stop feeling strong, you stop being able to, like, wave clear super aggressively, start being able to farm HP really aggressively, uh, it just leads to, like, a lot of problems for you. So once we get our axe up to be able to pass through enemies, we're gonna see a huge uh, power spike in our strength. See these 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 purple guys. The the first part where they're stubble starts to have some enemies that like you know can really take some hits from you. Uh, and and I think that we've done a, just a, a very solid job of uh, staying ahead of that this game. At least like how how our items are comboing, especially when we get close. We, 
when you can get confident being close to an enemy and you know your garlic and everything like that can just knock it out. This is a freeze. Is that to just gather up any extra XP we might want to get? Yeah, this this is the only part of the library I ever struggle with. You know, they start sending some of those uh, those like little banshee things at you, uh, which can get annoying if you uh, can't wave clear properly. I'm already at level 22, seven minutes in. And the only thing that we have to be worried about now is just oh, that that orb is going to be great. Nice to pull in all this extra XP. Didn't even get a level off of it. That ju that just goes to show, you know, I, I feel like especially on the forest when you would get those those orbs, uh, you would just like get like multiple levels of XP. But uh, the way I played the forest is really just trying to keep things within a little set area and moving back and forth. Uh, and the benefit of that is that you you don't really like leave too much XP behind. Uh, which is where you can start to get into some trouble. Not, and I'm definitely taking a lot more damage here than I usually do. Uh, so I just gotta be a little bit more cautious. I think I'm just being... thinking the garlic's gonna do more than it can, realistically. Uh, okay, so we have another elite here. Good, we need, we need to keep trying to power spike. Still, still haven't found our last two items, but... Uh, knife hitting its power spike is good here. Triple here would be good. We want to try and pump things up, but but honestly, it's all just going to be about leveling and um, King James Bible. Uh, the, the you get off to a slower start than I normally would um, in these runs because we're we're so focused on on getting our our kit built out early that we can't really level them and have them hit their power spikes. Uh, so while it is nice to have like a lot of items uh, and be throwing a lot of things out, you know, realistically, like. Okay, so we have Bracer, so now the only thing that we're missing is Spinach. And then we can just go full focus on uh, upgrading our highest item. And we'll be hitting close to that 10 minute mark as we do, and as we get close, uh, to be able to get our first evolved item right at 10 minutes uh, when, when you get an Elite to spawn. Okay, I'm just keep being aggressive. We're these, uh, these ghosts do not have... Oh, dude, this is great, actually. I love this portion of the map. This is really where you feed here. Uh, so, tractor we can't take. We'll keep pumping garlic. Like I said, I want, I want garlic to be the, the first one that we upgrade if we if it's possible. And just, just look at this. Look at that XP thing. Um, just want to make sure I'm killing all these enemies as quickly as I possibly can. Still haven't found it yet. Going to pump our whip. So make sure you got eyes on the banshees, don't let them get too Why do I say things? Why do I say things? Uh, keep pushing that knife. So it's going to be between the whip and the knife, most likely, is what our first one available to level will be. Both are great options. Um, obviously, I think I would prefer the whip, just because it gives us that lifesteal and kind of that you know, inevitability that uh, we're, we're going to get get through these harder parts of the run. Uh, so we do have a huge level spike again on the knife. Uh, it's going to do a ton more damage, pass through a lot more enemies, a lot more output for us. And right now we just kind of have a nice little murder area going on. Um, so, so we'll pump the fire one. We, one of priorities is pumping weapons most of the time early on because we just want to give ourselves as many chance as as many chances for those early early items as we can it does suck that uh you know i know that we've gotten two two spinaches already uh we are ready once we've seen a lead we can get this this knife evolve i, th I think that might be an elite over there on the right uh still nothing so we're gonna we're gonna up our fire one Yes, okay. So 
so this should give us our evolved knife. Just gotta be smart about how we fight it. Uh, so this should give us a evolved knife where after 10 minutes. Very nice. The evolved knife, uh, especially early, uh, it just slices through enemies and just gives us kind of a, a good way to cut through in case we're in any trouble. Kind of like the the pointed magic wand in a lot of ways. I mean, you just see, you just see like, I mean, if I kind of like just do this, I'm just a very hard thing to get through. Okay, still nothing on that. We're, we're gonna pump the King James Bible. A lot of XP to get picked up, so just keep doing your figure eights. Uh, and these little green guys, you know, they're they're pretty easy enemy. Um, these like little Medusa kind of variants give us a little bit of trouble, but uh, they're not too spooky. We do what's going to be really important. Uh, what we're really going to try and do is get at least two more levels before we find our next um, elite, because we want to get that taken down. So we'll push the the whip to six. Man, we're still quite a bit of ways, huh? Luckily, we're like kind of consistent in a lot of different things. Okay, let's just scoop up all this XP that's left over here. That knife just kind of makes us, you know, as long as we go in like one straight direction, we're kind of like a wrecking ball. Still nothing, huh? So we're going to get the whip to seven. Closing in on that eight. Love to see it. We're going to leave that chicken there. Just a little bit of uh, insurance for later on. We go towards the top and get some uh, of this farm up here. So we we can kill this. That's oh, I love this. I don't know when they added this or when this came into the game, but just being able to torch enemies is is so so awesome. Uh, still no spinach, but we're gonna get that king bible up to eight or six. I'm one away from the whip. Okay, so we didn't we didn't get a chest out of the elite. That's unfortunate, but uh, it would have been kind of annoying. We would have had to kind of like fish around before we even took that chest. It's kind of no hair off my back. I always say I think chests are just always better for a multitude of reasons. Still looking for that spinach. We'll, we will get it eventually. I mean, I think that just uh, I mean probability could completely screw us, but. I think it's going to be rare that we're going to fall into, like, the only way we would miss is if we had three items um, that were different all at the same time, which I think is probably pretty rare. Okay, whip me, whip me. Okay, level eight whip is huge. Now we have this chest over here, so we get the evolved whip. Pretty much not have to worry about our health. Uh, the rest of the game. Uh, we obviously still do a little bit, but this alleviates a lot of that pressure that you have early to uh, keep your health up and not get yourself in any bad positions. So this uh, upgraded whip added to the arsenal. The bloody tier. It's going to gain us 8 life every single swing, pretty much as long as it just hits one enemy. I don't know if they're ever going to adjust that. It seems like incorrect because it's just like perfectly consistent. We already have, uh, once we get another chest, we already have another one in the queue to evolve. Uh, and you can see these purple guys who are kind of giving us a lot of trouble just a few minutes ago or just kind of kind of melting through them like they're nothing currently. Okay, make sure we focus these reds that we get. Still missing it, huh? We keep taking Candle Door because it works with our best weapon, or one of our favorite weapons. Not our best one. It's pretty subjective. A lot of XP to farm here, which is great. Potential to get another chest. Tons of XP to farm here. This is huge.
These portions of the game, it's just like, oh, it's so satisfying. Just, just cutting through. Uh, I did lose eyes on that bat. I hope it's not that uh, purple one up here. So this was almost a situation where uh, we get locked out of getting all six evolved weapons. Which is scary because we're starting to get some level 8 weapons. Uh, so it's like lowering our pool of what we can grab. So we're not always going to have that safety safety precaution that, that we've had in the past. Let's grab all these on the bottom here. Still nothing, huh? Uh, we'll take can over door. Actually, we don't want to hit anything to like the highest level yet. Uh, so we'll take some health recovery, even though we don't really need it, there's kind of no reason for it. Um, we, just, we just need to get that spinach. Once we get that spinach, we're, we're going to be sweet sailing. Okay, we have our Medusa here. Just, just shooting her a lot. Uh, this Medusa has a crazy amount of health. We'll take, uh, we'll take an upgraded garlic, and we'll take our upgraded King James Bible, and some more. I love getting those triples. It's so satisfying. The quints are the best. I mean, the quints, the, the absolute pageantry that they pop off with is, is out of this world. But, uh, okay, so we got upgraded Bracer, Spellbinder, as well as the Evolved Bible. Evolved Bible might actually be the, the best item in the game. It's just like... I mean, like, what are you going to do, especially once I get to... Oh, spinach, we got everything. Okay, so now, now it's just all about levels. All about XP. Oh, baby. It's so good to get that out of the way. So, basically, yeah, I mean, uh, as far as, like, the tutorial for, for how to get this set up, that's kind, kind of, like, my thought process when I do it, is trying to get as many weapons as I can and then just uh, matching those weapons with the items as they come in um, and you know making sure that you put a huge focus on knowing which items you're missing and if you ever see them do you kinda gotta take them as, as quickly as possible um, and if you're going for, for a challenge such as this uh, you, you know that's definitely my recommendation is just be smart about it try and find the, the most consistent way that you can get there um, and, uh, you, you know, don't, don't worry too much, you know, you can, I, again, I, I feel like I've gotten to the point in this game where I can pretty much win a run at ease. It, it's also, you know, it's not only just the fact that I've gotten better, but it's also, you know, you get stronger in this game. There's, uh, like those true roguelike mechanics that come with it, uh, where you actually, you, you know, improve and, and, uh, you have... Just straight up a, a better character to start with, you know. You, you get duplicator ring to, to start. It's a it's a huge advantage compared to uh, what what you'd be expecting other than that. Another chest here. It looks like this is gonna be our first our first look at the upgraded garlic. So I think this one also has life steal. If I, I saw some. Hope that that's uh oh garlic's at seven okay i was gonna say okay that's actually really not smart of us to take that chest then because you, you can run out of chess um and you only want to be taking chests when you know you can get the evolved versions of your weapons there was a bit of a misplay there thinking i was at garlic level yeah i was scared that maybe i i, I wasn't updated and i didn't have it right or maybe um you know, maybe I'd gotten some bad information about which, I, like, held item or, or passive item I was supposed to be using. And then I kind of, like, screwed that up. But uh, good to see that it was just a bit of a clerical error here. I'm excited to see what this, uh, this upgraded garlic looks like. Because gar garlic's just kind of one of those items that doesn't seem great. Like, you know, it's, with the King James Bible, you can kind of get a lot of DPS if you know, know how to, like, stay right on the edge of enemies. But... You know, it just seems like there's there's better options, or there would be better options. Uh, most of the time, or with most of the different weapons that are in here, they can be very targeted and do a lot of damage in a targeted direction. You, you know, in general, that's that's going to be how you're going to stay alive and uh, get get a bit further into this game. Oh, baby. 
I just love when you know these big waves are coming up. Okay, so now we, now we have the garlic to level 8, so we won't waste any more chests here. And then next focus is going to be the axe. Fire one's a bit far behind, but, but we can get there. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm worrying about a lot of things, but, uh, you know, sitting here knowing that we have three weapons fully evolved, one ready to be evolved, and we still have 12 whole minutes. Uh, this game left, I, I think that we're sitting in a pretty good position, and... Um, so a little kind of background on me trying to get this challenge. I've only tried it three times. First time I tried it off camera. Didn't work. Or, or no, it did work. Uh, it, it was really fun. Great run. Almost died at a couple parts, surprisingly, but made it work. So I was like, you know, I, I think that it'd be fun to, to kind of give a bit of a tutorialization of my, my thought process behind it. Show some other people how to, to get it done if they want to as well. Um, and then I started started the video, and then on like my very first item pull, I pulled three items that didn't work. <laughs> so uh, I just had to start right away. Okay, evolved garlic steals hearts. Power increases when you're covering HP. Oh my gosh. Okay, that is absolutely cracked. I mean, what is what does anyone do against this? Like now we just have this ball, this death ball around us. It is going to make seeing enemies pretty hard, I feel like. But also, we have double life steal now. So, like, pretty much everything that like we're, we're hitting and we're, we're regaining life a lot. So, unless I can do a really bad position where I'm just, like, killing myself, I'm probably going to be fine. Okay. Yeah, getting that axe is definitely what we want to do next. Fire one, we'll, we'll get to it when we get to it, you know? Man, look at this just, just death ball rolling through. Okay, Axe is ready to get upgraded. Just gotta wait for our next lead, and then it's it's just the fire one, and we're, uh, we're, we're good to go on all six evolved weapons. I'm wondering what the best combination of the six are, because I, I think that there's no way that a level eight item, like any of the level eight items are better any of the level 8 items that can't get evolved are better than... Like, I guess there's an argument with like second level duplicator um, on top of... Like on top of this with another strong level 8 item might be better than like all 6, but I think that getting 6... I think that getting 6 evolved weapons has to be the, the best, best way to like pretty much secure and guarantee victory. Right. I, I did have uh, my last YouTube run prior to this one uh, was the first time I was streaming this and I had just an absolutely nutty run was murdering I wasn't even looking at the screen and uh, I think it was this guy I just I, <laughs> I ran in, I ran into him in the bottom as I was like looking at chat and I just I just he ate my whole life Alright, so we're up to five of them being updated, which is really nice. Uh, and again, you know, all we have to do now is, is really push to get this fire wand. We'll probably let any chests we find linger. We are far enough in that you know, we'll probably just get it naturally either way before the next chest. but Or we'll probably have two chests with, with which to do it. But, uh, man, dude, this, this garlic and uh, King James Bible is just absolute madness. Fire one. Okay, so we're, we're getting close. So much XP still, still to be grabbed. All this just chicken and gold all over the ground, too. It's, uh, you know, as, as you get good at this game, I, I feel like finding ways to do some level of challenge run. Like, prob it's probably way harder to beat this game with no evolved weapons, right? I can't even imagine beating this game without any evolved weapons. I don't know where you'd get enough damage to get through some of the later stages. Um, let's just keep taking spinach. We, we love damage. It's hard to say no to damage. Like, just look, all the, all like, the little ticks of damage that, that hit as we barrel through these waves of en enemies. It's a very satisfying feeling. There's just so many layers to these threats. There's a wall. Ooh, baby. That's going to help us a lot. I know that we haven't, we haven't been as good as we usually are with uh, sucking up our XP, so hopefully that gives us 
Man, it didn't even give us a level. It is pretty crazy um, when you start to get to like level 60, just how long it takes you to, to keep pumping, pumping each upgrade. I think we're close to like being guaranteed to get um, our last fire wand upgrade with, with our next level up. Okay, so we have our last chest, which is which is really really solid. Need one more fire wand upgrade, so we, we are gonna wait. I think I think that it's just the correct move to wait. I don't think that there's any reason to, to rush getting this chest. It's not like we're in any danger. Uh, so we just kind of want to make some nice laps and circles around the chest and gather all the XP that we can, and eventually make our way back here. Uh, it's kind of funny. Like I don't even I don't even think that these um, banshees can get to me. Like they're they're certainly trying. I mean, you can see them just just going for it. Okay, I think that this is far enough. Where if we just kind of trail back and. Pick up everything that we kind of left on the way. Uh, we should be getting a chance of that one. Yeah. Ticking up nice and easy here. But a uh, little sales pitch for this game if uh, you know you're you're just kind of looking through and you don't own it already. Um, it's maybe the best like hyper cheap game I've ever played. A game that's not like you know ten bucks, but actually three dollars. Uh, so I, I can't recommend this game enough. And look at that, just like that, all six evolved weapons up at the top. So hopefully we can get a nice uh, a nice screenshot of what what all this looks like. Uh, but this is going to be madness. I really do think that this, especially with um, with the garlic and King James Bible, this is definitely one where we could just like stand in one place and like be completely fine like if we just go like say here how does anyone get to us ever we just hang out in this library uh the one thing that does happen is when you kind of get to these later stages of the game it's just trying to uh still I guess still get a lot of enjoyment out of it, you know, if you're not someone who just likes winning, like, all the time. Um, trying to find some different challenges is, is probably what I'll do next. Maybe do a completely unbuffed character and try and win with that. Um, just try and kind of let your still do the talking. And then maybe the next step past that would be no evolved weapons and uh, no... Um, look at them trying to break through this force field. They just don't stand a chance. Look at that. a couple of guys are making it through now. But then, man, the, the, when the sights just come through, it's just madness. Okay, let's uh, let's grab some of this, some of this XP, which there is a lot. I think you have to keep moving, otherwise they don't spawn as much XP as is like what it seems like. I mean, that could just be BS, but it's what it feels like, I suppose. I don't know, that was a lot of XP, that was all just kind of hanging out right there, so maybe I'm just crazy. And, you know, it doesn't really matter what we take at this point. We're gonna, or maybe that was just a huge bundle of XP we just we just went through, which is why it had that, that kind of big bump there. Uh, I don't know what the spread does, so let's take it. Oh, that's the fire thing. Oh, look at the fire. These poor, these poor things. Oh, so now, now we're facing some of the stronger enemies in the game here. So these, oh, so this guy, this guy has definitely caused me some problems in the past. He comes with like big waves and he's very chonky. I think this was actually the one that, uh, that ended up killing me on that, on that run that I was speaking to earlier. Maybe get him on the edge. Yeah, I think we, this is where we want him. Is on the edge where the King Bible is hitting him too. Because when we have him there, he's just getting an extra layer of damage output, so he's uh, sticking a little bit more. All right. Oh, baby. I, I, I kind of love the the end game when you're just like, how am I? How how, how can I even be beaten here? 
I'm just cutting through these big waves of enemies meant to meant to like pressure you down and, and be such a problem in this later stage of the game you're just you're just cutting through them like they're not even there I think that the garlic King James Bible is probably core to like one of the safest bets like I can't imagine being safer safer than this like you, you have that area around you that 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 hits and then it's just you know so much more that comes so we're gonna push her it kind of seems like it's getting like she's getting pushed into the edge there and then uh pull back i'm gonna try and hit enter because for whatever reason of all the items and all the things that are happening in the game that's by far the loudest part i think we're maxed out here so we're probably going to get to the point where uh all we'll have the option to get will be chickens uh you either get like a choice between chickens and 25 more gold uh obviously it really helps you if you're kind of like pretty weak in this part and you're just like staying alive and just trying to find uh, areas to get through getting a chicken every time you level up is obviously very solid um, but um, you know obviously you, you probably just want to be pumping that gold as much as you can uh, get as close as you can to finding ways to max out your stats yeah I mean I don't even know how anyone how anyone gets to me you know like even if I'm just like kind of like shredding straight through these enemies none of them are actually touching me it seems like which is crazy to me. I mean, I'm like that that time I like pushed through them. If I go through like this crowd, it just seems like like they just get killed before they even have a chance to get an attack on against me. Between the knives, uh, getting hit with the the Bible on the way in, and then um, like afterwards getting uh, getting touched by the garlic the whole time. And sometimes just a giant wave of fireballs comes through and blasts through them as well. Yeah, I don't know. What do you do against that? You just die, I guess. So we're at uh, 2729. Um, what's kind of interesting here is that the, the last time I played it seemed to end a half a second, a half a minute early. And I thought that maybe there's like something that you have to do with like, like fighting someone else. I don't know. I was I was just kind of like overall like somewhat confused. And look at this. Look at this solid defensive front. Even with all these Medusas is crazy. Like, you know, these were I think even the smaller ones were uh, an elite early on in the game. And now that they're just sending like hundreds of you hundreds of them at you and wave after wave. Just kind of blast through them. Oh, I'm actually getting oh no, I'm actually in a lot of trouble here. Oh, I'm gonna Well. Uh, I don't know what happened there. I've never seen the end of that get uh, get so crazy. Uh, but maybe garlic to, like kind of caps off a little bit later and more than I wanted. Uh, so didn't <laughs> I feel like every time I get cocky, like there's no way I could possibly lose, I end up losing. But uh, you know, hey, yeah, the soul eater, the damage output is really low. Um, I did get it late, but the damage per second is. I guess the whip's just about the same too. But I don't know. I guess we'll uh, we'll, we'll kind of keep our eyes on it and uh, see see what we can do to get better. Uh, but thanks so much for uh, watching. Uh, if you want more YouTube only content and you like stuff like this where I don't have to worry about chat, I'm just talking directly to you. Let me know in the um, comment section below. Like and subscribe if you want to see more of my content. I play a variety, all sorts of different games. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks out.